Hi, I'm Stefania Chaplin, and as part of the DevSecOps Delivered series, I'm going to show you how to get three different types of repository reports using Nexus OSS, Nexus Pro, and Nexus Firewall. So here I am logged in to my Nexus Repository Manager. I'm currently in the Pro version. To show you what the OSS report looks like, I'm going to use Maven Central as an example. If I look on the right under the Health Check column, when I hover the mouse over it, I get this brief report with my top five critical vulnerabilities. I also have information around my download trends. This is what is currently available in Nexus OSS. With the Nexus Pro, I can view a detailed report of this information by clicking here. What I have here is more information around all the artifacts in my repository. There are two different pages. Here I have artifacts with license information and I can also see there are some security issues. And when I go here and click view by vulnerabilities, I can then see all of the security vulnerabilities. When I click on a link, I will be sent to the CVE information rather than the curated Sunotype information. The final report is with Nexus Firewall. If I go back to my repositories page, I have a column IQ policy violations. If I click here, it will take me to my Nexus IQ server where I can get a lot more information around the components. If I click on here as an example, what I have is information around the component, around the coordinates, so the gap, licensing, and I can also see security and policy threats. Using this diagram, I can see version history along the bottom, so we're on 3.21. The red triangle would be a security threat. The licensing, blue good, orange not so good, and green is popularity based on total downloads from the public repository. If I have a click here to 3.22, the information on the left updates, version 3.22, and my security and policy threat disappears. Now I know this is the version of Commons Collection I want to use, and I can change that in the IDE. To change that in the IDE, we would recommend Nexus Lifecycle as it provides all integrations throughout the software development lifecycle. Somewhere where Sonotype really adds value is in our vulnerabilities information. What you can see here is a Sonotype error. This is as there are two different types of errors. So we have at Sonotype, we have a team of 65 data researchers taking a total of 78 feeds, both public and private, including OWASP, OSS Index, National Vulnerabilities Database, and we even monitor the whole of GitHub for every single commit from an open source project, and then our human team will go through that data. If I click here, you can see the note, the CVE has been added. The reason this is a Sonotype error is we actually published this 82 days before the CVE was added. So people talk about day zero, day one, we're actually at day minus 82. We also provide very in-depth information compared with the CVE. So you can see, due to the behavior of the Invoke Transformer class, you can get runtime access. We also provide detection guidelines the application is vulnerable if it allows deserialization of untrusted data. And we always provide a recommendation. So in this example, we recommend upgrading to a version of this component that is not vulnerable. And we also provide a potential workaround. We always show our working as well. So you can see here, black and orange, never good. So someone has gone out into the source code, found the exact method that is vulnerable, um, which is why this component is a threat level 9 because there is a pre-baked metasploit out there.